can you can you just explain what the difference between previous and post this and then final animation for vfx yeah yeah sure uh, so as a previous artist you you want to visualize the shots right so you, you have to you take a complex scene and uh, you take the storyboard or the or the animatic of that uh, of that film of that sequence and you try to to put it on the screen you want to help the director visualize this stuff mm -hmm. so let, like you, as an example you have a marvel movie and you have all these characters fighting i don't know on the ground uh, in the sky and we're doing all this all this crazy stuff it's a bit hard to, to go directly with the camera and start shooting this stuff right so you want to visualize as as, as best as you can Hi, and welcome to the VFX Artists Podcast. On today's episode, I have Paris Marin, a UK-based previous and post -based animator for the film industry. During today's discussion, I'm looking to find out more about Paris's journey into the industry, as well as to learn more about the difference between previous and post -based animation and finals animation. I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining me on the show agreeing to come on the show um yeah I, I want, yeah that's okay i wanted well i wanted to have you on because we we both work together on uh, well at the third floor we we met at the third floor yeah and i think yeah. i think we we worked on ago, I think, right? yeah 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 so uh, yeah we worked on i think was it dumbo yes i think dumbo was it yeah 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 so yeah i just wanted to bring you on because I'm not sure how much how aware people are of previous and post viz and and compared to like final stage animation and VFX. So yeah, I wanted to bring you on and and then hopefully you can you can educate us on some light on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but but yeah, if you don't mind, before we get started, if you can just introduce yourself and just tell us what you currently do and what your role what your role is. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm Paris. I'm a TV animator and uh, working as a lead previs and the lead posvis at Proof. Um, I'm currently doing the virtual reality, so I kind of move slightly from previs and posvis, and we're doing the VR and virtual cameras. And my job is used is uh, it's based on Unreal Engine mostly these days. Right, which is great. I love it. So it's like mm -hmm. a tool for everything. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, uh, I guess it's, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a tool where we can combine everything like uh, we use in our industries, like animation, cameras, previews, postbiz, even final pixel, in the end, we can get it out of the engine. Right. So it's, yeah. uh, yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. So uh, just, just to step back, can you, can you just explain what the difference between previous and post this and then final animation for VFX. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so as a previous artist, you you want to visualize the shots, right? So you, you have to you take a complex scene and uh, you take the storyboard or the or the animatic of that uh, of that film of that sequence and you try to, to put it on the screen. You want to help the director visualize this stuff. So like you, as an example, you have a Marvel movie and you have all these characters fighting, I don't know, on the ground, uh, in the sky, and we're doing all this, all this crazy stuff. It's a bit hard to go directly with the camera and start shooting this stuff, right? So you want to visualize as, as, as best as you can. So this is how previous is handy. You, you take those boards, those storyboards, and you, we as a previous company, we build the assets and we, we try to animate. We block the animation, we use it as a layout, we'll try to to make a composition to see how we look, you know, and then we'll try to sort out the action to see how this will work best. And you will try to answer most of the questions from pre-production. You don't want to wait later on in production to realize, okay, this will not work. This is working. What, how should we change this? You're trying to do that from the beginning. Yeah. So that's why it is quite handy. And uh, you start with that. That's why now most of the, most of the companies, most of the, the projects they use previous as a first step. Mm -hmm. And you want to bring everyone on the same page. You want to explain everyone, look, this is how we're trying to do. And you, you know, you have stunts, then you have, you know, cameras, you have directors, VFX suits. You want to put everyone on the same page, explain, okay, this is how it should look. Just 
it gets better. Right. If it doesn't work, things probably the final shot it won't work. So you try mm. to make it work from the beginning to. Mm. to yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's, yeah. From from my experience, I've I've come to 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 learn how important previous and post is because yeah. everything everything else depends on it in terms of the final stage of the movie and the VFX product. Like everything is all based on the pre, like the pre-production, the previous and the post visit. Yeah. So yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, after you doing that. Of course, if it's if it's uh, if it's approved, that will uh, will be like the blueprint for what all the other departments should do. How they mm -hmm. should uh, how they should shoot the movie, how it should look in the end. Yeah. After the shooting, we spend most of the time to do the post this for this. So we get all those plates, whatever they shoot, and we try to combine our previous our animation from from pre previous shot with the post this. Yeah. We try to combine this. And that will be again passed further on for final pixel animation. That one will be like, you know, almost everything there. And we do like, it could be like a blocking, you know, just to place your characters there, or you have to animate them. It's gonna be almost, you know, final, final stage, like uh, quite close with what should look like in the end. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wanna give you some credit. So can you just mention, tell us some of the films that you've, you've worked on? Yeah, so we do we did the Dumbo together, right? And yeah. uh, I was yeah on a third floor back then. I did, I mean, I was jumping between projects like almost every few weeks. So I was doing the Man in Black, uh, Artemis Fall, mm -hmm. Mary Poppins. Um, what else? We did some VR projects, some like some theme park animation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts actually was my first show at third floor. It was quite great. I worked for that uh, that one for about one year. Yeah. So a lot of Fun stuff there. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was uh, third floor, and then we I went doing an animation job in, in Germany. Yeah. So that was uh, the kangaroo. I think you were on the same one, right? No, I think at the time that we were both at Trickster, I was. Yeah, it was Sonic, I was. I was. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, working yeah, on Sonic. Yeah. 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 And then another uh, movie play also was about a VR experience in a you know traditional film, mm. something like that. And after that, I came here. Uh, I started working for proof, and then we did the like uh, Jurassic, Jurassic World, right? Yeah, which is coming uh, next year. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's most, most of them. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. One thing you, you you touched on, which is quite important and it differentiates final animation, is the timing, because because you, you just mentioned like you were working on um, Fantastic Beasts for about a year. Which, um, I mean, I guess it's it's quite similar to um, finals because I guess some some animators, I d yeah, I don't, I don't I can't tell I can't tell if some animators do spend a lot of time, like a year or more, working on shows in in actual final stages in 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 VF in VFX. But I do know, like for for previous and post you're you're literally on on a show for at least a year or two because because you have to like work yeah. out yeah work out the the skeleton of the movie so yeah i guess that's one difference um even, I'm, yeah yeah go ahead no no yeah even if they change like you know you start i mean most of the show it shouldn't last that long right like you know maybe up to one year should be enough but you know after a while they realize okay we don't like that you know you start caring too much at, or to one shot or a sequence and you don't know it's not right instead of and they, at that point, they could, uh, you know, already just start shooting or they already start animating doing finals. But those, the, if something's not working, it will be sent back to previous. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's restructure this shot because it's not working. Let's make it let's make it good again. That's why I tend to say so much. I mean, you start in pre-production and sometimes you end up in production and you know they deliver finals and you still you still designing shots. Right. Yeah. It, it's it's a common thing for uh, for that to happen. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, um, where did, where did your passion for for animation come from? Uh, my passion for animation, I would say, it came quite late. I would say, mm. uh, I didn't know I want to be an animator, <laughs> so I did study photography and film uh, okay. a long time ago, like after high school. 
-hmm. And then we, we, I mean, at uni, we start, start you know, touching all, all the software, all the possible software, like, you know, sound editing, the CDS Max was back then, video yeah. editing, all sorts of things. We're doing, we're doing animation with pictures. Yeah. So like, you know, you move, you move stuff and then you take some pictures and you, you comp it together and then you have an animation. So yeah. I didn't know I like animation that much, to be honest. Yeah. I want to be a math painter, so I was, right. you know, I learned Photoshop and I start painting. I did traditional uh, graphic in high school, and then I'll keep going. And I thought, okay, this is what I want to do. But mm -hmm. I noticed traditional is not getting me uh, anywhere, to be honest. Yeah. So when I moved in uh, in the UK, uh, I went and I did my master degree in 3D animation, yeah. and then again I wanted to be a, a math painter until I found animation. Then I realized it's the best way to tell a story. Yeah. So it kind of, you know, got me hooked from the beginning. Oh, okay. I think this is what I want. I like the dynamic. I like the movement. I like, I like, I like animation the most. And I kind of moved towards animation and the left, like mass painting on the side. Yeah. It was more like, you know, concept art. I would say, I know I did it with the technical part of mass painting. Mm. And uh, yeah, that kind of stopped there. With, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how, how did you get your foot in the door? Um, yeah. In the industry. Um, we had some, uh, I would say we had some, uh, some team projects and, uh, they were quite good for that time. I mean, they had potential and we had uh, a CUNY at the uh, Bournemouth University. Uh, mm -hmm. We had visiting speakers like every Friday okay. and some of these, uh, visiting speaker, one of us, uh, APC, Electric Theater Collective, they were doing commercials and the music videos. Mm -hmm. So they saw a project, uh, and the, most of the guys from this project end up working from them after. So we right. soon start applying everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, finally got a, I, I got a job there. So I did okay. all the TVs and uh, yeah, that was, that was mostly a previous. I, I want to be an animator. I didn't know about TVs that, uh, that much, mm -hmm. but uh, I realized, you know, it's a great way to, to, to be creative actually. Yeah. This is how I got the first one. And then um, after a while, after a few months, I got the uh, I got the job at first floor. Okay. And then it was just previous. <laughs> previous, yeah. So um, there's there's a term that I, I do always hear the term um shot creator. Was was is there a difference between a, what a shot creator does and what a previous or post with animator does, or is that the same thing? Uh, shot creator, you know, previous artists, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Uh, post -viz, sometimes on post -viz you have to focus a bit more on animation. Mm -hmm. um, but it's eventually, I mean, there is a, you know, a technical aspect, you know, it's something like you have to match perspective, you have to use Nuke or After Effects to make that happen. So it's not that, it's not as creative as previous, mm -hmm. the post -viz, but uh, yeah. I mean, you focus a bit more on animation, I would say, you know, you don't care about the camera that much. It's, it's more about the performance. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so I'm just curious about whether you prefer working in previous and previous animation versus the finals animation. Cause like you said, you worked at Trickstar on, on a few films and I yeah. know like the, the quality between previous and post -vis and, and finals animation is, is is different. So do you have a preference between the two? I can't say I have one preference, but I like to, you know, jungle between uh, previous and then final animation. Mm -hmm. uh, I like previous a lot because it's, uh, it's creative. You know, you have, you actually, you, you design that shot, you, you have a creative input. Yeah. While for animation, not much you can do uh, it's just a great performance so you spend up hours or days you know animating fingers or animating stuff you you, you wouldn't do in previous so that one sometimes that uh, can be like you know take the um, take the creativity away All right you know it gets a bit like static yeah sure yeah uh, yeah okay yeah um so we... yeah i like i like both i would say i like both i like you know to keep the the, the skills there to yeah. animate sometimes it's just good to animate and to not think about the story and everything mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah you know you just want to be creative you you don't want to spend so much time doing stuff uh, yeah yeah like but do you do you think it's it's difficult to to transition between getting work in in finals animation when you're coming from previous because um 
I know I know that they sometimes there's there's a bit of a, a scrutiny where the the VFX houses are kind of a bit reluctant to bring in post people because they 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 think the quality or our, our experience or level of, of work is not as far as VFX final animation. Do you think it's it's easy to transition or do you think there's there's a barrier? Well, I think uh, I think it's it's kind of a barrier, but I mean most of the previous let's let's start with that most of the previous and project guys they are all animators, so it's mm -hmm. kind of this is the skill required to to, to do that. Mm -hmm. I had so many jobs where they asked, this was the, the answer. Oh, you are a previous guy or you're a post this guy. Uh, you know, we, we might be afraid like your animation, it's not good enough for final. Right. Mm. Until someone gives you a chance and actually they realize it's kind of the same. Yeah. And yeah, as a full time animator, you just animate all day long. As a previous yeah. guy, you sometimes animate cameras, sometimes you spend time on lighting, on mm -hmm. effects, on stuff like that. So you don't do full time animation. Yeah. But I would say, you know, uh, creative person is still creative person at the end of the day and if the animation is the required skill for previous for sure will ace it in the in the finals as well yeah you know, there are different kind of people some of them you know they like to take uh, animation jobs as well after previous like mm -hmm. like i do you know i don't want to just focus on previous yeah but yeah sometimes you know people just uh, yeah 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 i mean yeah yeah i, I like i do like working in, in post -based. um it, it's quite fun like especially being on set, for example, and yeah, yeah and then you're just uh, you you starting and uh, match uh, match move on uh, positive stuff, right? I mean, yeah, 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 um... yeah. So my first my first job working as a match move artist in in Postviz was for third floor, and that was for uh, Damper, and so yeah. it was my first time as a as a Postviz match move artist, and um I wasn't told I wasn't told that the quality had to be like say 70 percent compared to, to vfx so like on my first day i was i was spending like one day like the whole day trying to track like spend the whole day on one shot <laughs> whereas yeah. whereas because no one told me but then you ex in, in post you expect you expected to at least be work working on at least like i don't know five five shots a day or, or even more yeah but so yeah happen like fast yeah yeah no it's just crazy it. yeah yeah it was, it was quite a surprise and yeah something new to me but then eventually yeah you, you yeah you get you, you get used to it and then you yeah you relax and yeah it's quite fun it's, yeah uh, it's, a, it's all about speed it's all about delivering shots uh, mm. quick right at the end of the yeah. day yeah Since yeah all definitely. of this will go like all the other vendor fed, companies for final animation yeah, they don't want to spend too much time on it. So yeah. let's get done. Let's, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I had I know you you spent recently you took part of the Unreal um what do you call it? Uh, fellowship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fellowship, yeah. yeah. Just can you tell us a bit more about about that? Like just tell us um how how it was and what you learned from it and yeah, why you decided to go on on a real fellowship? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I was lucky enough to to be part of this uh, real fellowship. Like they posted, with, I did. I wanted to start an engine for a while now, mm -hmm. and uh, this this program came right on time. And uh, they made this. You know, you can apply for it, and uh, they will choose. Uh, I think at the beginning were like fifty guys. 50 people they should yeah. uh, they should start this program where actually they will uh, pay you and uh, you have to learn unreal engine which was right. great right? money for education yeah and uh i didn't i, I wasn't from uh, instead of 50 i think because they had so many applicants about six thousand. right uh, from 50 actually they made it 100 so that was first batch okay i didn't make it in the first batch but then later on, I got a happy email. Okay, you, you're gonna be part of the second, uh, second yeah. fellow. Okay. So yeah, I think first one they had to do it in four weeks to create a short movie. So you have to learn the engine, and then uh, second uh, and third and all the other they were like in five weeks. They okay. like four weeks it could be you know most of the all the people they were from different uh, with different backgrounds. Not yeah, I was an animator. Previous, some of the guys they were uh, compers, you know, with mm -hmm. traditional uh, drawings, traditional art, and uh, yeah. yeah, 
they realize, okay, maybe the four, four weeks uh, is, is, is not a match, so let's, yeah. let's make it to five. Uh, I took a break from uh, from two. I told yeah. them, look, I have this, this, uh, this fellowship and I would like to do it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just, uh, yeah, you take, you are going to be like USA time. So then you have to start, yeah. you know, you start at three o'clock and you finish quite late. Yeah. Then you start like in the agent. It's like back to uni days, right? You mm. woke up every day, you have Zoom. Everything was remote, so we did this from home. Yeah. So Zoom, Zoom calls, and you know, we have our own little teams, and we had like, you know, the support. And uh, yeah, we just spent the days and days about the two, three weeks was about more learning the engine. And then uh, for the rest of the time, you focus on your own project. Right. You come up with an idea, and you, you know, you work towards it. You, you see what you need. We have like teaching assistants, which are always there to help us, you know, to answer all the questions. It was, it was quite great, you know, quite, quite yeah. good uh, learning experience, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think, why do you think a lot of people are going towards that route? Because it, it, it feels it's like, common, yeah, it just feels like just all of a sudden, like the popularity of Unreal just, is just gone up and everyone just wants, everyone is going into, into learning are real or yeah. like trying to improve yeah why do you think do you think there's a shift or what what does unreal bring that attracts um artists that want to scale up um well unreal unreal before was used for games right mm -hmm. and uh, now it is quite heavy in the movies like for the mandalorian you know they had those, those big led walls and they instead of doing the green screen where mm -hmm. you have to track it yeah. they start doing these walls and you have you have like is uh, eighty percent of the the job is done mm -hmm. in the in the production, and you don't just start shooting and then you'll see you know fix it in comp like mm -hmm. it will 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 it will happen usually. Yeah. And uh, for uh, I mean for this reason, uh, it got a lot of interest. I, I would say, uh, and I wouldn't say it will replace the traditional way of working. So mm -hmm. I probably it won't replace Maya soon or you know other software. But it's just another tool where you can use it for different stuff. You can use it for virtual reality. You can, uh, you know, pre uh, you can see your shot before. Okay. You can, you can, uh, you know, implant animation cameras. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's just another tool, and you know, you can do so much stuff with it. Yeah, yeah. What um, do, what skills do you think you pick, you picked up any new skills? From, from... Uh, I, I did confidence I could do my own movie with it. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, okay, yeah. That was, that was one, because yeah. I never imagined myself I could do like a short movie, you mm -hmm. know, in just, which it was like two, three weeks. Yeah. All together when I started working on my project. And yeah. you have the, this marketplace where you have loads of assets and they're all free. Yeah. Uh, they work to a lot of companies and they make everything for free. And right. uh, probably... You, you could never do this in Maya. I mean, me as an amateur, I don't know too much about shading. I don't know about... Well, yeah. Uh, I yeah, don't know about it, but, mm. but in a real, you can just, you know, it's like a Lego box. You pick yeah, up, sure. you need, you put it there, and you, you, you just rent it real time. Right. Yeah, sure, you have yeah. a lot of flexibility with it, and mm. uh, yes, I, I, I got like really confident. You have something in mind, in just a matter of months, you can do your own mm -hmm. project. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I will never imagine it would be possible. Yeah, of course, way, yeah. All this creative, all this creativity and liberty, mm -hmm. I think for artists it's uh, it's quite great. Yeah. That was the flexibility of, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just curious if I think you you you, you mentioned a bit about um motion capture and facial capture, as 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 um. So I'm just wondering how how often you you use either motion capture or facial capture for for what you do in animation. Um, so motion capture is quite, uh, it's quite common to be used. We have like a studio library with a load of, uh, you know, basic animations mm -hmm. and we'll try to use that as much as possible. I mean, at the end of the day, you want, you know, to make everything faster. Yeah. So in previews, if you can use mocap, you'll use it. If you mm -hmm. can use that mocap as a base for you to adjust it, to make something, yeah. you know, for your shot, you'll do it. In, uh, in previous, we don't use uh, facial capture that much. I use mm -hmm. it with Unreal Engine. You know, you can take your iPad and you can cut your face and you can implement it on a character. Okay. So that's, that's also like, you know, quick. Yeah. You don't have to spend time now, like we did in, uh, in finals, they spend, you know, 
days and days and yeah. I'm making the face and eyebrows and how much yeah. <laughs> yeah. was print and yeah yeah so it, it's quick and uh, yes in previous we don't use it in finals probably it won't this is not like a, you know this is more like a, for an indie maker mm -hmm. you use an iPad or use uh, you know other device to to get the facial capture and you know make it on a yeah. On project yeah sure the, yeah and unless you have you know creatures and stuff yes you have to start keyframing key, key animating and uh, yeah you don't have any choice you can you cannot use anything <laughs> yeah yeah that. or you know unless you use that before in the past and you have like a database and uh, yeah some animation safe for that yeah sure yeah yeah so um yeah as a, as a lead um shot creator i prove um what's your what's your day-to-day -day, like what like yeah, what was your day to day like? <laughs> yeah, well, I must say, as a as a lead, as a as proof, I don't mm -hmm. do that much leading, to be honest, because okay. I shifted away from. Uh, I mean, I did some shots with this uh, current project in the beginning, but mm -hmm. uh, immediately I had to go to back to the studio to do uh, VR, virtual reality. Mm -hmm. So now it's like mostly by myself there, and I get all this, uh, you know, this project, this uh, you know environment, and uh, I have clients to visualize, you know, right. and, and questions. Mm -hmm. So it's more so it's just by myself and uh, doing right. that. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, um, yeah. What do you, what do you do to stay relevant in in your field, um, for what you do? Well, I guess you know you try to keep yourself up to date. Mm -hmm. Always, you know, checking LinkedIn, what other guys are doing, you know, yeah. what are all the software possible. Always check on you know the gaming websites, the film websites to see what new technologies and what they're using for tracking and yeah. what other cameras they use and you know just reading I guess and yeah, yeah. being being online with with what's going on in the industry yeah sure. I guess it helps a lot you know to take a new plugin um, test test as much as you can I guess you know yeah. you want you, you see something you want to see how it works how it worked before you yeah. need it you know you want to test to see if this is good for your workflow mm -hmm. Stuff like that, just always being active with the, in the, in yeah. the, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what, what, advice, what advice would you give to anyone aspiring to, to be an animator, either for previous and post vis or for finals animation? Uh, advice, uh, I would say, you know, always you have you, I guess, you always have to look for inspiration. I mean, yeah, you always have to work, you know, to, to, to. For this you know you always have to animate mm -hmm. but i guess inspiration is a big part i mean even a walk in the park or you know um, going to a museum to see some some paintings yeah all that will inspire an animator anything yeah. outside in the nature i guess it's, it's very inspiring mm -hmm. also yeah which is uh, trying to be active like you know follow uh, different animators follow I, I tend always to you know if i see a movie i like and i i know i saw something dynamic I will, you know, get that, the, the, get that piece of movie, and yeah. I'll start breaking into shots. Mm -hmm. So I'll count like, okay, why, why I like this? Uh, what was it? Was the composition? Okay, how, how many frames were this were this shot? What actually did happen? Yeah. So it's just you know just to, I guess to to, to be active with this. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Well, well, yeah, it's been yeah. Thank you so much for <laughs> yeah, it's been, thanks, it's, thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, no. Yes, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, thank you. No problem.